everyone today i have a new story for you let's say you got selected in one of your dream company and you are very happy super excited now the time comes for negotiation and you are very worried what is the salary that you should ask for so you think if i can predict it yes you can do that so basis on year of experience what you can do is here you just put your years of experience let's say you have 15 years of experience and just hit enter so you can ask the company to pay you 1.58 lakh per month this is in indian currency okay this is sorted it's cool isn't it yeah it is super cool but what was that how was that salary amount predicted that was linear regression model all right now we also want to build this kind of model how can we build this so to build that like all the models all that we need is a data set and the concept basis on that we can just start with right so here we are going to start with simple linear regression now why do we uh, we use linear regression in this context because here we want to predict salary which is a continuous variable in previous video we learned about logistic regression so we use logistic regression where we have to predict the categorical values like zero or one true or false in that case we use logistic regression but here we have to predict certain numbers which is continuous and that's why we're gonna use linear regression hope that is clear here we have one independent years of experience that is independent variable and this one is dependent which is based on this variable okay now to start with model building first we need to divide this data in two parts training and testing not only this further we need to divide each of these two data sets in further two separate parts so if you see over here training data set is further divided in independent and dependent same goes with test now we are done with understanding the split of data now let's go ahead and start developing the linear regression model so here i am in the jupyter notebook first i will just make it normal so that it looks better for you so the data which i was showing you that's something which i downloaded from kaggle and i will be providing the link in the description section do not forget to check that out i will also upload that data on github and you can download it from there as well so here is the same data which i have downloaded now this particular data set has how many rows and variables oops let me first import all the required libraries over here so it's just taking few moment just bear with this now all of these things are imported i will just import the data set over here now this gives us some error let's all right so it just says that the spelling is not correct right so in this data frame we have 35 vari uh, sorry rows and two columns let me show you a sample of it for that we can use this thing right now we need to split this data in two part this will be independent and this will be dependent how can we do that so for that the data set which we just created is salary in that the independent variable which we have is this this we're gonna store over here and then comma we're gonna create a dependent variable so sorry i have given the data set name as salary and the variable name is also salary the only difference which we have over here is this variable is starting with capital letter now i'll enclose it into this now you must be thinking how am i going to divide it so there is one module which i have imported over here from sk learn library this is called train test split this will divide our data as expected as we just discussed right so here all that you need to do is say train test split and now you need to store this divided data in four separate variables what those four variables are that you can get you can understand about this particular function by just clicking over it and hitting shift tab from your keyboard expand this 
and you can go through this formula this is a very good explanation over here i usually prefer to this okay now from here what i will do is i'll just pick all like you can see here it has also done the split of this data now that's what i'm going to just put over here okay now we are done with dividing the data but at the same time here we just divided independent and dependent variables now we also need to split it in train and test so we have one parameter which is called test size and in test size i'm going to consider just 20 percent of the data like we had 35 rows out of 35 20 percent we will be considering under test size and rest under training size then there is one more parameter which we should specify over here which is random state and we're gonna say false right if you don't do this every time when you run the model you would have different set of training and test data which is which might not work all the time all right so now here sally it says there is no variable which is called s a l a y let me figure it out where i have done the miss spelling okay sally where is here here i just did this mistake now it is done now let's if you want to have a look on data so you can just look at this you see here we have only years of experience now if you look at y train so here you have the salary now if you just have a look at x train again so you see this kind of data it looks like right how many records does it have you can check that as well how can you check that we all know that there is one function which is called shape and we can use that and here out of 35 28 are considered under training and 7 are considered under test how can you validate that so you just say y test oops this is y train now i need to say test okay so seven are over here now we are done with splitting the data next thing we are gonna do is create an object and what is this object about so if you notice over here here i have also imported linear regression model this is how you can also import it if you do not have installed scikit-learn you can just do pip install right and then you can import it i'll provide the link of its official documentation you can refer that all right now after over here all that we need to do is create an object linear regression now the object is also created after that we need to fit the model means train the model model dot fit train the model all that you need to do is just say model dot fit and in that you're gonna provide x training data first i am just giving it the independent variable then i am giving it supplying the dependent variable okay which is y train now here i said this is the data where this is the years of experience and this is the salary which i have now this is the training which i am giving to the model basis on this my model will be trained it is trained now i will do the prediction so to do the prediction what we're gonna do is we're gonna say model dot predict and in that this sub value which i'm going to supply is x test x test is only this is only years of experience and basis on that it will produce the prediction this is the prediction now we understood the prediction what is the score how correct is it right so we also have the y test data this is the actual salary right and if you notice over here this is very close to this number okay so these are also seven points these are also seven points these were the actual values which we had splitted separately and these are the predicted values now we need to see how accurately our model has done the prediction so that we can do using model model dot score there is one function which is called model dot score so how do you get this simple the model object which we have created just type that and type dot and hit tab button from your keyboard and you can use this function which is called score and in that you need to supply your data on which you want to do the prediction and then you need to supply the actual output actual dependent value right means here this is the experience years of experience on which we want to do the prediction and this is the 
actual value for these years of experience what we are asking model to do is first predict the salary for this given experience and then compare that with the actual value right so let's hit run Ooh, we got 97 percent of the accuracy this is fantastic i'm telling you but this is not always gonna work here the data was kind of streamlined so that's why it gave you 97 percent of the accuracy but in practical life you might not get this clean data so for that you would require to work on that data now this is the prediction after this you want to build that kind of interface so for that what you can do is just create a function which is called def let's say it def salary predict and in that you can supply a variable which is called exp which is experience you can say it anything okay now all that you need to do is just supply the same function which we have created over here right this one which we are using to predict the data all right now i'll just come over here model.predict and this thing needs to be stored in it here i'm going to change it to exp which is nothing but the experience let's see if this is working fine looks like yeah now we need to store the we need to ask user to provide the input and we all know that we can do using the input function and in that we simply gonna say enter your years of experience and then just hit space bar but this will be a string so we're gonna convert that in float this time i'm not converting it into integer because experience could be in decimal value as well right and after that i will print the output the salary you can expect is this much and i'm just going to use this thing this from here to here what do you think is it going to work i'm not sure let's try this here it is asking me to enter the years of experience let's say 16 and oops it gave me none let me just figure it out let's try to use return over here and let's try this 15 yeah here we got this here was the error right here we should have to use return right and here we got this result now this is something you manage to create a interface where individual value can be inserted and it can be predicted what if you are working in a company where over there you would not require to enter the values one by one over there you might get list of values which you would require to enter all right so here we have another data set created okay here we have created another data set just like this and then let me just show it to you here we have another data set i will again provide the link and uh, let's me let me just show it to you how does this data looks like and over here you see to predict this is the only years of experience we want to do the prediction on this okay so for that what we're gonna do is simple just right over here what we can okay let me just remove these all things first okay and here what i'm doing is you see this is the model which we have created and in that i'm supplying the data which we have just imported and here is the prediction now what you can do is you need to map it against the years of experience which we already have over here so that you can do using this thing right here i'm just creating a separate variable in this data frame and in that i'm storing this particular value right and here we got this here we got this is the data which is supplied and for that we got the output stored bravo this is how you can create a linear regression model now let's have some sort of more gyan okay so here this was the simple linear regression there are two kind of linear regression one is simple the other one is multiple when we call it simple when we have only one independent variable we say that a simple linear regression and when you have more than one independent variable and just one dependent variable 
then we call it multiple linear regression model okay so here let's say you have years of experience and years of education and basis on that you want to predict the salary then that kind of model will be called multiple linear regression what is the formula now you must be thinking this is the python using which you develop the model is there a way to calculate this thing manually using some statistical formula yes there is so here is the this is a model i'm showing you for simple linear regression like you can see there is just one independent variable and one dependent variable for this the formula will be this and this is the definition for each of the element into it i am not going to get into the detail if you want me to go into the detail and explain you linear regression from the statistical point of view you're gonna tell me into the comment section i will definitely make a video on that okay now this is the model for multiple linear regression like you can see these are all the independent variables and one dependent variable over here it is simply trying to say basis on these all variables you need to predict y so in this case this is the formula which you're gonna use and these are the definition of each of this element so you see beta 2 x 2 beta i x i this will be indefinite the total whatever numbers of independent variables you have you can supply all of them over here so this is it in this particular video hope you liked it just in case of you get any doubt put that into the comment section i will definitely get back to you and if you want me to cover this thing from the statistical point of view i will definitely do that all that you need to do is tell me into the comment section until then happy learning wish you very all